Well, what we've observed in this situation is the Platinus racemosa, the California sycamore, has come down and come into contact with the roof of the building. There is a broken cable in the tree that was giving some support to that long cantilevered trunk. So with the cable broken, the limb has settled right down to within about an inch or two of the roof and is bumping in the wind. So we've taken our longest lateral that arches over the ridge beam. We're going to dismantle that back to our compound and take the worst and heaviest of the cantilever out of the tree and see how the tree is going to respond to that. The sycamore is kind of a bottomland tree. They grow in the valley floors, in the sedimental alluvial catchments of our inland dry chaparral valleys, and the sycamore likes a lot of water. It is considered a strong tree in the ground, but they oftentimes will arch and lean and swoop and even subside all the way down to the ground. So we can say there is somewhat of a vulnerability there, but generally we consider the sycamore a well anchored in a strong tree in the ground. In the case of this tree, we have to prune because of site conditions. We have a two-story building where the tree's arch finally has come into contact with the roof line. So we have endeavored to control the tree by pruning to get it to lift off the building and reestablish a new balance. Well, we've went ahead and made some targeted cuts on the sycamore. We've taken off a long lateral that arched over the ridge beam of the roof, the highest point on the roof. We've removed that heaviest, longest, most cantilevered lateral limb. We've taken it back to the compound. We still have a reasonable structural form and silhouette in place, so we're going to manage the tree in this new form. We still have some follow-up cuts that we can make if need be over time. We can bring it back to new leaders or new laterals. But our objective today is to clear the building from contact with the tree. That lateral limb now excised, our trunk has lifted off a good foot, 14 inches from the building. So we've got a safe clearance now even without the cable. So I think we have a better management practice here with our new situation. The tree does show good vital signs, although we are showing some anthracnose. Once a week rain for about a month here has given us a little more anthracnose than we usually see, but the tree otherwise is pretty healthy and we're going to see this tree into the future. It may be reasonable to come back in and re-cable, that's a very old cable in the tree, a nine strand malleable iron cable, and we would go to our stainless 719 cable if we are to replace this but we have got about 12 or 14 inches of clearance, so we feel that we've got the tree safetyed for today, but this may suggest a follow-up with a stainless steel cable going back up into the crown and preventing any future contact of this long lateral.